nest today we're going to do a small diy well not really small but I'm, I'm hoping it won't take long i'm going to frame out this kitchen window and get that stained seems like it rained this whole past week and it was cold and just dreary all week but um it's not supposed to rain today hopefully i can get this stained and then put up and finally have a completed looking wall here it's been forever been working on this project um, I'm also hoping to get my pantry door painted today so let's go on better get started or I won't get it done <laughs> we're gonna build a window yeah all right let's get this day going <laughs> what well let's get this day going let's get this day going yeah it's wild children are here today so we're gonna go in here and cut this wood See if we can cut it right. So this is my dad's shop. It's a hot mess. But this is the saw that I'm using. You have to flip the switch on. You gotta hold in this little button and pull this trigger at the same time to make it work. But what you wanna do first is you pull it down and you see the light. You wanna put it, you can see the shadow there. You want your um, line that you've marked to be where that shadow is. There we go. So that's perfect. Hi. <laughs> Are you recording? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Technical difficulties? <laughs> I, gotta, I didn't line it up first. <laughs> there we go. That's where it goes. All right. Note to self, have camera lady back away. It's amazing. This Hi. is camera lady. <laughs> My helper. The issue with this window is like everything else in this house, it is not level, square, any of the things. So I'm trying to figure out how to make it right. So I cut this board and this board here. Okay, so they'll meet up like this so thankfully this one by three fit perfectly right in there now on the other side that is not the case so on this side do you see this how much sticks out on the ledge here on the other side of the window they met perfectly but this side they don't so what i'm gonna have to do is just take a pencil and then just follow this line at least that's how i think i should do it and then cut off this excess. That's how we're gonna do it. I have to figure out how long of a board I need to go from here to the edge of the other board there. I'm coming up with 41 inches. Cross your fingers that I've got the right measurements here. Yeah. All right, so we gotta now we gotta stain all this wood to match this one over here. Yeah. See the difference in the color? Yeah. Yeah. You have to cut this though. No, I don't gotta cut it. I gotta stain it. I gotta put color on it to make it that color. Oh. So let's go get our stain. Hey, Irvin. Hey, Irvin. It's okay. Irvin don't like little boys. <laughs> hey, I'm a <laughs> You rubbed him? It's a boy. Hey, can I go get him? He ain't gonna let you pick him up. Yes, he can. No, he won't. I'm fast. I know you're fast, but he'll scratch you. No. Okay, let's go outside and, and work on this wood. Okay, so I have my boards laid out here. And the first thing I'm going to do is sand down the edges where I cut them just to make sure they're nice and smooth. And then we're going to go ahead and stain them. Got a helper here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get started on that. And I did have some gloves in the house, so I put on some gloves. Usually I just use like a sandwich bag and I'll put it over my hand and then that'll keep me from getting stain all over my hands but I did have these today so I went ahead and used them you want one too <laughs> whoa gotta put the thumb over there <laughs> there you go High five. I have a hand sander you can use that but I don't have one on hand so we're just gonna use this little sanding block and it'll work just fine but it's okay hey you're gonna stain it that color anyway 
Yeah, I gotta get the rough edges off where I cut it with the saw. It's got some splinters on the end. Oh. So you gotta sand it down a little bit, get all the splinters off. We're gonna stain them. I got them all sanded down and wiped off. Um, we're gonna use, this is the stain I use on all of my projects. It is Men Wax. Um, special walnut somebody commented and asked me that one day and when I went to go back and answer it I couldn't find the comment so um, this is what it is this is what's on all of my open shelving this is what my barn door is and my kitchen island are all this color so I really like it I'm just going to continue to use it in our project today So we've got our wood outside drying and the little babies are down my mom's now so I'm going to take a little break and run down there and play with them for a bit and then I'll come back and bring the wood in see if we can get it all nailed up. So this little teapot I found at Goodwill if you follow me on Instagram you saw when I picked this up I needed a dust like badly <laughs> but um, I wasn't sure what to do with it and somebody suggested putting a plant in it and I had thought of that. But I thought, because it's really tall, well, you know, kind of tall, so I wasn't sure if a plant would look right. I had these stems that I had picked up from Hobby Lobby, and I just stuck those down in there. And yeah, I thought it was cute. I have moved to a basket wall here. I took down the floral prints and put some baskets up there. I really like that a lot better. And I still have to paint the bottom. Over here, we've got a lazy cat and dog. <laughs> Bonnie, we gotta do something about you. <laughs> Belly scratches. Belly scratches. Here we go. Here we go. I think we need to put you another blanket in here and get you up a little higher, don't we? Yeah, you just sunk down in there, ain't you? She's about due for another haircut. Anyway, my sweet friend Cheryl sent me a package in the mail this week, so we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. I already opened the box, but I hadn't pulled it out yet. Um, so it looks like it's a canvas. Maybe a collage of some sort. We've got an M here. Got some little, looks like little tack things. Oh, I guess this is like a put it on the wall maybe and put the tacks in there so you like a what do you call it <laughs> I don't know you know what I'm talking about though right um so you put the tacks in there through the paper onto the wall so that you have them in the right place and you don't have to put a bunch of holes in your wall I'm assuming that's what this is a diagram is that the word 
I'm so terrible. You know what? If you just read it, it'll tell you. It's an installation diagram right here. <sighs> All right, so let's set this up and see what it looks like. How exciting. Okay. Uh, can I do this backwards is the question. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to lay it out so you can see what it looks like. It's really cute. There you go. That's cute. Very cute. I've never seen anything like that before. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I appreciate it. It was so sweet of you to think of me. I hope you guys all know that you don't have to send me anything. I just want you to know that I appreciate it, but it is definitely not necessary. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys. Hold on. Hold on. I'll be right back. So I just thought I would show you guys a few um, of the cards we have gotten in the mail. I've gotten some postcards. Um, this one is from Rayco. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Martha, thank you guys so much for the postcards. Um, I have the sweetest lady send Timmy, um, well, she sent us both a card and she included this picture of Elvis. I don't know if you can see it very well, but um, she said that back before Elvis become really famous, he had a fan club and he would send out pictures of himself to people in his fan club. And she sent this to Timmy and he just loves it. He has me keep it in my little wallet so that he can look at it and doesn't lose it. And I gave him the card. <laughs> I gave him the card that it came in and I can't find it anywhere. I don't know what he did with it. I've looked all over, but I can't find it. So whoever sent this to him please send me a comment leave me a comment send me an email or something so i can get a touch with you to send you a thank you card because this really meant a lot to him he really loves it thank you so much very very sweet of you to send that to him this card i got this week was from marlene I'm gonna read you the front of this one because I just really, really liked it. It said, you inspire me by the light you share, by the joy you give, by the strong and thoughtful way you live. And I just thought that was so sweet. Thank you, Marlene. Got a card in the mail that did not have a name on the envelope or on the card. So whoever sent this to me, thank you so much. Right before we left for vacation, I think it was, I got a letter in the mail from Donna. Um, I haven't forgot about you. I'll be getting a card in the mail to you too. Thank you so much for your letter. We really appreciate it. And um, yeah. Yeah. So the boys here, I'm trying to teach them how to use a caulk gun. <laughs> And you, um, it has this hole in the side. I didn't know this until I saw somebody on YouTube do it. But you stick it in this hole here on the side and pull the trigger and it cuts off the end. Who knew? And then it has this handy dandy thing that you use to pierce the end of it so i just have a little spot that is the caulk has come away from it so i'm just going to recaulk that before i go in and put the wood back up why it took your orange yes he just took it yep just took it right out of your hands yes how rude Actually, no, he just has it. He just has it? Yeah. He took it down there. He did? Yeah, and I just decided to get another one. You did? Yes. All right, here you go. Thank you. You got it? You got it all? Yes. All right, you're welcome. You going back to Nana's? Mm -hmm. All right, go straight down there. I just want to say God bless all you mamas who try to do projects with little ones running around because it's definitely interesting. I started this project at like, like 10 o'clock this morning and it's now 4 o'clock and I'm still not done. So you can see like it's good here. Pretty good. Not bad. It's coming apart a little bit because I tried to pop, pry it apart to fix it. But um, down here is the problem. And back here is where I caulked it earlier. So I really think that that has something to do with it. I don't know. Stay tuned. Maybe I'll figure it out. Okay, 
so I still have a little tiny gap here but it's the best I could get it I don't know and I do have to caulk down this wall here this white one um, but what I had to do is there was some drywall that was hanging over on here so I just took a knife and just kind of shaved off the drywall that was hanging over and I was able to get it closer it's still a tiny bit off but you know what can you do I don't know that's why I can't fix it <laughs> I nailed my one by two and my one by three that I had cut to place above the window together before I placed it up here on the wall and then I just nailed it into the wall it made it much easier that way it was going to be hard to attach the one by three to the one by two because I had it turned on its side. This is what it's looking like right now. I have to get another one by two to put up here like this, but the one that I have right now is not long enough, so I'll have to pick one up tomorrow at Home Depot. These curtains are a little too long for this window. I like them to be just a little shorter, but for now they'll do fine. And yeah, that's what we're working with. It's looking a little orange because of the light in here. It's starting to get dark. Um, so I had to brighten up my camera. So I've seen a few different Pinterest um, accounts where people used um, one by threes to section off their drawer their cabinet drawer to I can't explain this right um, <laughs> they cut one by threes and put them inside their cabinet drawer to make dividers and it looked really cool so I'm gonna try to do that um, cause I only have one cabinet drawer other than the drawers that are in my hutch um, so I'm trying to try to, so I'm going to try to make some dividers for this to make it more functional. I had like a spoon, like a utensil divider in there and another like, um, wicker kind of divider, but it's still always a mess. So I'm going to try to make my own and we'll see how it turns out. I'm just going to wing it here. <laughs> got, I've got some leftover one by threes from my window project. So I'm not going to have to buy any extra wood or anything. I'm just going to use all of this wood. I've got three big boards left over. So we'll see. We'll see. This is the drawer. It's a big wide drawer. I cleaned everything out of it. Wiped it out with some multi-surface spray. I picked this spray up at TJ Maxx. It was $3.99 for this great big bottle. It's a huge bottle and it's clean earthen home multi-purpose cleaner and it smells good works good happy with it so far but anyway this is the big drawer and you can see i had got this spoon utensil thing which i can still put over here to keep my stuff separated but then i'm going to put these i'm going to make these dividers to go in here to let, put towels here and then I was thinking about making um, maybe three that go, okay, one here and then one here to have three sections right here. So I'm going to give it a try. I measured it out and it was about 20 and a half inches. I believe that will do it. We'll see. I got this board cut and I got my towels placed here. Um, this is just what was left over from the first one, but I'm going to cut another one this length to put along here and then cut my three right here I measured them I put this in here so I could measure um, from here to here to see how far I need how wide I need these boards to be so I'm gonna go cut two that'll go right here and one longer one to fit right here
friends, I can believe we're going to do the old, old song, Amazing Grace. Alright. You sing along now. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a rich life. Lift you up. Amen. I know you know it, so you can sing along. Huh? <laughs> pantry door because it took me so long to do this trim around my window. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!